Let's see what's going on in this warehouse. Well, opposition apparently. I'll take care of them jerks. That'll teach them to deal with a Sith Lord. Who wants to be cured? Here you go, take this. It's good for you. <laughs> Don't mind that I'm a random stranger just coming up to inject you with stuff. Yeah, just ignore that. Don't question me. Or else you will die. not being sick <laughs> my lord I wanted I wanted to apologize for Destris earlier he was out of line I love it when you grovel at least one of you knows her place I have a great deal of respect for you I just wanted you to know that you you radiate a, a power that Palladius for all his ranting and demanding never did Do you like it? Do you find that power attractive? I don't know. It's terrifying. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius's cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. You're strangely helpful. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destris for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. You're correct. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. It's both well-known and accessible. Wonderful. <laughs> well, let's head there. Una guta tan quicuta. Be quick to bamba. That would be me. 
If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius's cult, then yes. This will be fun. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. Tuto Ulya, Nucha, Kichawa Joto do dead beta. Your bana pihota, Mindia. It'll be your death wish. But very well. I hope you like pain. What's up, guys? How you doing? That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius' right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot, we humbly present you with this gift. Excellent. Already the masses bow to me. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Then he's a dead man. If Palladius dares to show his face, I'll make quick work of him. He won't. Palladius only ever broadcasts to his cult by Hollow. This is our chance. You just go in, make a big show, and boom. It's gonna take more than a show, Destris. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait, I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? <laughs> like a miracle? I approve. I walk into Palladius' speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. This is going to be fun. I can't wait to see the look on Palladius' face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector. Not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Well, that'll end this episode. Have fun, play safe, and I'll see you next time.